my review of the new woodcutting guild that just came out today. So just a few things I'm going to say before heading in is the requirements to get in is 60 woodcutting and 75% Hosidius favor. So once you're inside, you should get a invisible plus 7 woodcutting boost. So that means right now I am basically 106 woodcutting. The invisible boost does not allow you to chop trees higher than your base level, but it should help you chop them faster, uh, give you all the benefits that a higher woodcutting level would normally give you, other than letting you chop trees higher than your base level. There are quite a few willow trees, some maple trees over there, um, tons of yew trees. There are some regular trees and an oak tree over there. Uh, there's just a few yew trees over here. Most of the yew trees are over this way. There is the sawmill right there. There is a dungeon to kill ants at. So once you head over here, there are some yew trees. Uh, there are two, four, five in this spot. Then there are, there's another yew tree right there, two more yew trees right here, and then eight magic trees. Then once you head over here to the very end of the Woodkin Guild, there is two wood or two redwood trees. Um, there are four woodcutting spots on each tree. So there is my timer going off. I'm going to turn that off. So that is 30 minutes. I'm going to check my experience rates really quickly. That's 30 minutes, 41.9k experience an hour, 20.8k uh, experience gained. Um, that is with 99 woodcutting, boosting up as soon as I can with the axe to 102. And this is the woodcutting guild, so it should give you a plus 7 boost. So I should actually be getting, I should be 106 to 109 woodcutting at all times. And I'm going to go ahead and check the logs that I have. Hopefully I didn't already have some U logs in the bank. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't since it's at the bottom. So 119 U logs gained in 30 minutes. So 119 U logs is worth 46k thing to note was there's only one other person chopping the use with me so if there if it's more crowded in the future that may cut down on the experience and of course if you're lower woodcutting level that's going to cut down on the experience and profit also another thing I should mention is this was with 100% attention so as soon as the tree fell down I was moving on to the next tree um, I wasn't uh, tick abusing or using the yeah the tick abuse methods I'm not even sure if you can on the yew trees and magic trees but I wasn't doing that but I was paying full attention, so as soon as the tree fell down, I was onto the next tree. As soon as I had a full inventory, I was banking, um, so I wasn't AFKing at all. So, just about to finish off 30 minutes. Uh, there goes my timer right there. So, 30 minutes, check my experience rates really quickly before they go down. 26.5k experience an hour, 13.2k gained in half an hour. Um, so, time to go check how many logs I got. So I had 64 in the bank already starting, so I will minus that from... So I gained 53 magic logs. I'm going to go ahead and price check that really quickly. 62k GP. So my 30 minute timer is about to go off for the redwoods. Um, I heard these were overpowered, but so far they are not seeming that overpowered to me. Um, so there is my timer. It's been 30 minutes. I'm going to check my experience rate. 65.7k experience an hour. I'm going to go ahead and stop chopping before I mess that up. So 65.7k experience an hour with 32.6k gained in that last half hour. I'm going to go check what these logs are worth. And so I heard that that was overpowered. I'm not sure if they did a hotfix and nerfed the experience or not, but I don't think that's very overpowered, 65.7k experience an hour. Um, it is pretty AFK, so that that is the thing, but... 65.7k experience an hour for something AFK isn't that isn't that overpowered considering you can get like 180k experience an hour doing two tick. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and find these logs, redwood. Move my screen back over. And so they are, and this could very easily change in the future. This is the first day that they're out. So as of right now. That is 150.5k. So I had full concentration. As soon as it um, went down, I moved on to the next spot. As soon as I had a full inventory, I went to the bank. There was no standing around doing nothing. That was uh, full attention. And yeah, on to the next part of the guild. About to finish uh, 30 minute testing of the ends. I wasn't sure what to bring at first. Um, and now they're aggressive to me. I wandered a little bit too far north. Um, after about 10 minutes, they go unaggressive, but there's my timer. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and stop now. Check out my experience rates before they change. So 14.7k woodcutting, uh, 4.9k HP, 15.9k range. So those are the experience rates. Um, I wasn't sure the best way to kill them, so I brought a cannon at first. They are weak to range, and then for melee they're weak to stab. So I'd recommend bringing your your best uh, range or your best melee or stab for melee, best best stab weapon. Um, and pick up my cannon there we go so i'm gonna go ahead and go and price check this stuff supplies i used i just ate those two monkfish which weren't part of the 30 minutes for the 30 minutes i used four monkfish uh, i used no prayer potion doses and i drank two doses of range potion so basically i used that's basically my supplies 4k uh, plus some of my blowpipe I probably used about 10k in supply, so it's, it's basically nothing. It's pretty ne negligible, um, or whatever. Um, so anyway, so I also did get a bird's nest, so I'm gonna go ahead and crush that and open it up for some seeds to add to the price check. So an acorn. So time for the price check. This is from 30 minutes with 99 wood cutting. So 212k. Minusing my supplies, which was about 10k, um, it's basically 200k GP profit an hour with 99 wood cutting. I did 320 logs into planks. It took me seven minutes and 35 seconds. Which would mean you can do about 2,531 an hour. I wasn't doing it perfect, so I would imagine the top perfect is probably more like 2,600 or 2,700 planks an hour. I don't have any energy potions in my bank, but if you are doing this, I would recommend using stamina potions with uh, regular or super energy potions because the stamina isn't enough to keep your energy up. Even with full graceful, I was running out of um, energy towards the end of the seven minutes which is why I stopped it there since I didn't have any energy potions and I didn't want to waste stamina potions restoring energy because really what you want from the stamina potion is the uh, slower degeneration of your energy and then to actually restore your energy up you would be a lot better to use uh, regular energy potions or super energy potions so the profit that I made I used let's see how many coins I have right now so I have I used exactly 80k cash I used 320 oak logs and one full stamina potion. So I used 98.3k and the loot that I got is worth 173k. It is 74.8k profit in 7 minutes and 35 seconds. Got to about 592k GP profit per hour. That is with the current prices though. I think at this current time when I'm making this video, mahogany planks are actually better. Um, I have some trying to buy in the GE though, the logs, and they're not buying, so I wasn't able to do those. Those I think would probably be more about 800k GP profit per hour. You can change those, so I'd recommend you looking at prices uh, at the time that you're watching this instead of just completely going off the prices I'm saying now. They should stay kind of the same. They'll, they'll probably drop a little bit after uh, this method is more well known. Um, this just was released today, so it's uh, going to change probably a little bit, but they should be pretty close to what it is in the video. So after testing each spot for 30 minutes, I came out with yew trees, 41.9k experience an hour, uh, 92k GP profit per hour. The yews are pretty AFK. Uh, as a rating, I would give it a 2 out of 10 for experience. 2 out of 10 for GP and 7 out of 10 for AFKness. If you're looking for like the, that medium range of experience, medium range of GP, and also super AFK, U trees are for you. Next up was magic trees. I got 26.5k experience an hour, 124k GP per hour, and they are extremely AFK, even more AFK than U trees. So those, if you're looking for a little bit slower experience but more profit and even more AFK. Magic trees are for you. Uh, next was redwood, and these have a 90 woodcutting requirement, so 
these are only accessible to super high level people, but once you can access them, I would say they're definitely better than Magic or U for both experience and GP. I would say they're a little bit less AFK than Magic Trees, but only a tiny bit. Um, I got 65.7k experience an hour there, 301k GP per hour there, and I would say it's about 9 out of 10 AFK, 7 out of 10 GP, and 4 out of 10 experience. Um, so they're probably the best option if you're just looking for, if you're 90 plus first of all, and you're looking for good experience, um, good GP, and good AFK, just good mix of everything. Because of the AFK-ness, uh, the GP profits, and the experience an hour, I'd say the Redwoods are the best training method in-game other than two-tick uh, teak woodcutting. Um, if you want to put in the effort, two-tick two teak woodcutting is a lot better experience. You won't be making any profit though, and it is not AFK at all. But if you're looking for a little bit of AFK and you don't mind a little bit of profit for um, a little bit less experience than the best methods, then Redwoods are definitely the best option for you. And next was Ents. Um, at Ents I got 14.7k experience an hour, 422.6k GP per hour, and so i definitely say that they are the best money maker for woodcutting. As far as I know of, I don't know of anything else that approaches 500k GP per hour. Uh, so for the ratings I'd give them a 1 out of 10 for experience, a pretty horrible experience for Ents. Um, but for GP I'd give them 10, 10 out of 10 since they're the most GP per hour that I know of for woodcutting. And for AFK, I'd say about 5 out of 10. They're pretty AFK. Uh, you kill an Ent, which takes probably, depends on your combat stats, but they're pretty easy. So I'd say 10 seconds to kill an Ent, and then you just sit there in AFK cutting a log for probably around 30 seconds. Smell has no requirements other than uh, the requirements to enter the Woodcutting Guild. As far as I know of, I don't think your Woodcutting level affects it or anything. So it's basically, if you can get in here, you can use it. So, and the sawmill is the closest sawmill to any bank. It is, it provides about 600 to 800 KGP profit per hour at this time. Only an awesome money making method for low levels or people that don't have too high of money making stats. If you guys enjoyed, um, as long as you're not going for the best experience an hour possible, this place is definitely worth it to get to. Get that 75% favor in Hosidius and come try it out.